So now let's talk about those representatives here in Massachusetts that are now finally coming out and saying where they stand on the ballot question, on the staffing ratio ballot question. So yeah, so we're going to start with one of my faves, one of my presidential hopefuls for 2020. Heart and soul, heart and soul, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Senator Elizabeth Warren. Okay, I just wanna read you this quote coming out from the gate just to let you know where she stands. She said it wonderfully, I love it, hear, hear her out. <clears throat> Nurses work hard to take care of all of us when it matters the most, and we should do the same for them by establishing standards to ensure they have the help they need to do their job safely. She continues on by saying, firmly saying, I stand with our nurses and support a yes vote on question one in November. So right off the bat, you know that Senator Warren, um, Senator Elizabeth Warren is standing on the yes side. So that's, we've got one, one on the yes side. There's many more at the end. I'll tell you who else, but we have Senator Elizabeth Warren on our side. And I just want to tell you a little bit about Senator Elizabeth Warren. There's many more. I, I'm going to talk a little bit more about Elizabeth Warren because her background and who she is really will help you understand why um, at least uh, believing her without, if you don't have the time to go in and dig and do all your research and all that good stuff and look at both sides and look at the actual bill and all of that nitty gritty, because this is why we, this is why we vote for representatives. So they can do that nitty gritty while we live our day to day. It's not our day to day job to look at the nitty gritty of each of these bills and what is going to cost us Americans. We, ha we, we, we vote for these representatives so they can do that job. And the reason I'm saying you should believe Elizabeth Warren is by let's look at her record. Let's look at what she has done for Americans, for those in Massachusetts. Um, who is she? And that maybe will help us judge what her motives are when looking at a bill like the sta um, nurse staffing ratio. So in the past, so most recently in 2017, she co-sponsored um, a bill, um, Nurse Staffing Standards for Hospital Patient Safety and Quality Act. Um, which was very, very similar to question one. I'm not going to go into the details, but I'll put the link below um, in the description box. Go check it out. Um, so it, it'll have all of the uh, information on the bill she sponsored. This was a nationwide, this was federal. It was going to be a federal bill across all 50 states. It's very similar to question one. Go check it out. She co-sponsored it. She co-sponsored that bill. So we already know she's for nurses. This is not her first outing here with the nurses. Um, so telling you a little bit about Elizabeth Warren's history. So Elizabeth Warren was formerly a professor of law and taught at the University of Texas, um, the University of Pennsylvania, and most recently Harvard Law School. And she's also a prominent scholar specializing in bankruptcy law. Warren was among the most cited law professors in the field of commercial law before she began her political career. And I think this is super, super important, right? So Elizabeth Warren, it, it doesn't stop there. And it's not just for nurses. And she's not just a nursing hoorah hero. She is a, a, a Massachusetts, a Bostonian hero. She is here to represent us. And she wants the best for the people, not for the big business, for the people. And yes, I'm talking to you nurses as well. Um, she is an active consumer protection advocate whose efforts led to the conception and the establishment of the U.S. Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. And if you don't know what that is, ladies and gentlemen, you've been missing out on a whole lot. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has saved Americans, Massachusetts folks, like the actual people. When I say the people, I don't mean the business behind the people. I don't mean the budget of Massachusetts. I mean actual human beings, people billions of dollars let me tell you the exact numbers here from its creation until 2017 the consumer financial protection bureau has curtailed abusive debt collection practices reformed mortgage lending publicized and investigated hundreds of thousands of complaints for our aggravated customers of financial institutions and extracted nearly 12 billion dollars for 29 million consumers in refunds and cancel debts so if you're going to ask me the question, so Q, great, this is all amazing things that Elizabeth Warren has done or um, is doing currently, but why should I be on the same side as Elizabeth Warren? And I think it's clear as day. Number one, if you're a nurse, you know that she has a track record of standing with nurses everywhere. And then number two, the, uh, uh, the conception, she is the mother 
of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, thereby also being a big part of why 29 million Americans have received money that they lost unfairly to these big, insane businesses like the Massachusetts Health um, Hospital Association. When, I, when Elizabeth Warren says the right side of history is being on a yes, I agree. She's well known everywhere. She's a, a big name. Most people know who Elizabeth Warren is. So, and when she comes out and says, I stand yes, um, there's a reason behind it. She's not just trying to cozy up next to us nurses. She has a history of staying with the people. And I agree. And I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that she's um, uh, um, voting yes and is telling those in Massachusetts to also vote yes. Thank you, Elizabeth Warren. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so before I end, I just want to tell you a few more um, representatives that are not as well known as Elizabeth Warren, and it's mainly why I chose her to talk about. But other uh, people that are also backing um, the bill include Boston Mayor Marty Walsh. Good for you, sir. Um, I already told you about Senator Elizabeth Warren, Ed Markey, Representative Catherine Clark, um, Jim McGovern, and Joe Kennedy the third, and um, Michael Capano. Um, and those are all of the people that are also backing, um, uh, that are also voting yes when it comes to question one. Um, I think it's very important that you guys know who um, is standing where on this issue and why. Maybe they're just doing it so they can get on nursing good side, but I don't think that's the case for Elizabeth Warren. Like I just told you, she has a, a, a verified background of looking out for nurses and just the people of America. Right, not the businesses, not these multi-billion corporations, not the people that are giving money to her uh, campaigns for the people, for the actual people of America, for the actual nurses here in Massachusetts. Um, thank you, Elizabeth Warren.